Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethaman. Welcome back to a another video guide for Ark Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, as the title suggests, I am going to be showing you how to tame the Mesopithecus. Now, this is a little monkey and it is a passive tame. Uh, the first thing that you need to know about it is that if you get too close to it, it will run away. So you do need to be careful. And obviously, for this, you will need kibble or you can use berry as well. It does work better with the ghillie suit, but I'm going to show you both variations where I can do it without and with a ghillie suit. So you will need the basic kibble as it is a passive tame. You want to put it in your last action bar slot and then obviously creep up behind it. Now to do this, you do have to crouch. So I'm going to find a landing area. Make sure that the area around is clear of any threats. So let's go and try and tame this monkey without the use of a ghillie suit. I'll do it with the ghillie suit as well. And the ghillie suit does actually help. So at this point, I'm going to crouch down. I'm going to try and get close to it. When I get the prompt on the screen, I will feed it one kibble. There we go. We don't need to get any closer to it. I've seen the taming bar, so it's about half. I'll wait for it. And uh, the good thing about this is the time between the first and the second feed isn't all that long. Of course, you can do this with berries. You can use meho berries. You can use uh, veggies. And uh, meho berries and veggies are better than any other berries that you use. The, the low quality berries do take a lot longer, so you will lose taming effectiveness. Now, this is, as I said, a shoulder mounted pet that you can have. And it does kind of tend to throw poop at creatures so it does cause like a bit of a blinding effect nothing really too uh, amazing when you use it against other dinos it's just because it looks cute there we go that is the mesopithecus tamed for some odd reason it decides to run away so you might want to pick it up before it goes into a dangerous area and i've got two compies watching me i might want to get these guys dealt with there we go now this is the first method. The second method is similar to the first. The only difference is there is a ghillie suit and I do recommend that if you are just starting out as that does allow you to get a bit closer. The other thing to note is make sure your tames are far away from the Mesopithecus. Now the reason for the tames being far away from the Mesopithecus is that sometimes the Mesopithecus, Mesopithecus will walk into your tame and then want to run away. Whilst it is running away, you cannot feed it the food. And so the longer it takes for you to feed it, the more you will lose on the taming effectiveness. So do bear that in mind. As you can see, I can get a bit closer to the Mesopithecus. You always want to do this from behind and stay at a distance until its next feed. You only want to creep up behind it when you suspect that it's time to feed it again other than that just keep an eye on it and back away so it's still not hungry we'll wait for it and it does help if you have some sort of a weapon with you so that you can keep the clear the area clear of any threats i am keeping an eye on the mesopithecus this should be the last feed now that's pretty much it for this wonderful creature it does look cute as you can see it is a shoulder mounted pet and to be honest, it doesn't do much apart from just kind of sit and look pretty on your shoulder and throw poop at creatures and players that are attacking you. So that's kind of its purpose. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just more of a nuisance for other players. It doesn't have a lot of HP. So that means, of course, it is easily killed as well. So keep that in mind. That is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so they get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.